For decades, Joanna Paleman has brought the empirical eye of a naturalist to her renderings of chubby birds and sinewy flora. Her art, at its core, is about deep looking at the natural world. A significant retrospective of her work is currently on view at Redline. It is the culmination of her 50 years as a working artist in Milwaukee. Here is Joanna talking about falling in love with nature and how she brings it into her life and art making. Well, the love of nature was started with my family up in Three Lakes. We had a little cottage on Big Fork Lake, and um, uh, my dad and mother would, would uh, pack the five children and the dog and the canary in the car, and we'd drive up there for the summer. And um, it was like nice woods because it hadn't been touched yet. It was all pristine. There were mushrooms and mold growing on the, on the old logs, and it was just great. Um, there'd be little snakes, there'd be uh, like little toads and, ho and frogs hopping about that I could um, uh, study really early in life. I, I just, they amazed me, they sort of entertained me at the same time. Um, if you take one bird and just um, bisect the parts, all the feathers, take the feathers, there are so many feathers and there's so many ever different designs on each um, feather and color and <laughs> form is just endless. They're just, some are more cheerful, chickadees are more cheerful than, than say, oh, I don't know, whippoorwills. <laughs> but um, the calls are wonderful. Um, each, each bird has a different call. Each bird lays a different kind of egg. They have little spots on them, splotches. I have no lack of nature around here. The Juno Park is there, and the, the lagoon is right down there. And we do have animals come up from the lake. Um, there's skunks, there's raccoons, there's porcupines. I even had a possum one time hanging in the tree in the back. I thought it was a dead chicken. <laughs> it was hanging from its tail. Uh, I don't seem to make plans. It just sort of happens. Uh, one piece of art will beget another piece of art, and it just sort of as, as a nice uh, domino effect. And if I can just keep going, if my eyes keep holding out in my right hand, keep going, I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. I hope for the rest of my life. I, I always said I wanted to die with a paintbrush in my hand. <laughs> The other question that you asked me is, do I get stuck with the rest, rest of my work? And that is, no, I've got a to-do list about <laughs> pages long. I just, I don't have enough time, that's all, to, to do it all, to be honest. I'm just so happy that the ideas keep coming. I'm very fortunate. Well, uh, when I go to sleep at night and think about my life, uh, I wonder how much time I have left. And um, if it's... If, it, if I can still be drawing. That's very important to me. Um, but if, if I don't have that much time left, I'm so grateful for the time I've had to do it because it's just been so pleasurable. There's been so much joy in it. That's what I think about. <laughs>